that we authorize the expenditure up to $15,000 additional dollars for our expert, Dr. Ballastaro, to assist in the intervention on the uh, purchase by Eversource to uh, um, uh, assist with uh, the town attorney with the Department of Environmental Services on both our well safety, water quality safety, and our uh, interest as they relate to the cancer cluster uh, uh, commission. As part of the large groundwater withdrawal? Yes, sir. Thank you. Second. Okay. Um, discussion. Regina. Th this is what we need outside experts on, and I agree 100%. Rusty. We're going to go we'll find this in the budget. We'll find it. It, it. it deals with the public health of everyone in this town. Okay. We'll find it. Rick. You know, I hope that this is the right way to do it. Um, I just don't know how effective it's going to be that we're going to, if we're going to achieve anything here from what I've seen in the past. Yeah. That's the problem here. Well, I would say just as one measure of it, uh, when Dr. Ballestero talks, DES listens, and you'll see that their, their response to his comments of August 3, uh, are reflective of how much they respect him right. and, uh, have, as a matter of fact, have stopped the idea of the pumping test for the moment. Mm -hmm. and so what about the Public Utilities? Well, the Public <coughs> Utilities Commission uh, so far has this joint petition that's rather thick with a bunch of confidential documents. And I'm not sure Eversource knows what they're getting into, but I think they will after we get involved. So what, the first thing you were asking for is just permission to be involved. To yes, to file a petition to intervene. Okay. So we so we got two issues here. Yes. About. How about if we deal with the first issue for? Well, we got a motion and we got a second on the floor. Um, you would engage him only when necessary. I mean, this is not necessarily saying fifteen thousand or right away you go out and get him involved. Well, he already is. He already is, but you, but, but he's, you, you're paying for what he's already done. Correct. So, are you saying that you're going to authorize him up to fifteen thousand more right away, or are you saying you're going to wait and see if you need him? He, he bills. He, it, w it would not be. We, I do not have uh, our contract with him is is uh, a joint contract with Northampton on an hourly basis. Uh, this. Some of money that's being talked about here is to is to provide the ability within the budget to cover whatever is expended for that reason. It's not to say we'll definitely expend it. That's it's, what I'm saying. That's it's as needed. That's what I'm asking. Uh, and you say that the we bill the line in, in Mark's budget that that refers to this particular matter, and that falls to the bottom line of the town budget. We always have money left over at the bottom line of the town budget. That's how it's always been handled in the past if you overexpend a particular line. Because you get monthly statements, uh, as you hear from the finance director, right. um, by statute, the fact that you get those statements allows you to uh, make an expenditure that exceeds a particular line, and automatically there will be, uh, if, it's, if it's not an expenditure in another in any number of lines across the entire budget, that will be covered. Now, you, you don't need to identify yeah. okay. a place to get it yeah. from. Yeah. Is Northampton going to go along with us, or do we need to involve them? Because now we're increasing. They went along with the first. We split it. What was the split? 60-40. 60-40. Was that a con that they would continue to split 60-40, or is this something we have to go back to Northampton? Uh, I would go back to Northampton to the extent of involving Dr. Ballestero in this uh, acquisition by Eversource, which uh, he hasn't specifically been involved in, but a number of the issues that I've identified to you in the petition to intervene are touch upon the areas that he's already been involved in. And I'm sure that Northampton is, is going to wait uh, to find out, have been asking us, how are we going to approach the petition right. to intervene? And I'm sure that they will will uh, follow along. And when you do the petition to intervene, then what's the procedure? So you send the thing that you petitioned to intervene. What happens? Uh, that is going to be uh, ruled upon by the commission on uh, August 17th. So they could say no? They could say no. Uh, they never have. All right. 
They may not have always listened to our concerns, but they've never denied us the uh, ability to articulate them. Okay. Um, I do think that it's a great idea. That document needs to also go to Ephesus. It will. There, there, there. This document goes to everyone who's okay. on the service list. Uh, but even if they aren't on the service list, it'll certainly go to Northampton and Rye. Okay. So we're voting on expending, I increasing the money. Increasing a line item in the budget. Here was the motion, Mr. Chairman. The motion was to authorize uh, an expenditure of up to $15,000 to retain the service this year for Dr. Ballestero in the efforts of this intervention with the Eversource acquisition of uh, Aquarion uh, about water quality and uh, our, our testing and, and, and water quality in Hampton and assistance with the uh, cancer cluster as it relates to Hampton's interest. Okay. So we're going to take a vote on that. So there's the motion. We had a second. All in favor? Okay. It's unanimous. Now we put the cart before the horse here because we haven't voted to say you can intervene. And so let's have a motion it, 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 well, on that. Well, yeah, and, and I just had more questions as we were going yeah, down. Why don't we take a vote oh, on oh, okay, I'm sorry, a motion to intervene first. Make a motion that Mark files a motion, yeah. motion to intervene. Second. Okay, all in favor of allowing the intervention? Yes, unanimous. Great. That is the cart before the horse. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, 